Good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, my two earlier speakers, they have made my job easy. And because uh, uh, I wanted to show you that whatever is being done in Berkeley or in uh, US or in uh, any 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 uh, Western country, we, we can do it and we are doing it. This is what I want to show it here, that uh, we are using the technology in our classroom. Uh, I am working with Gautam Buddha University. This is a fairly new university came up in 2008, and we have a 511 acres land in Greater Noida. We are a Wi-Fi campus. Uh, you talk of a technology, and it is there with us. We, we are using, we are very techno-savvy, techno we are using the technology. Uh, I would like to share my, uh, 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 my experiences as a teacher, what I am doing in my classes. Uh, so uh, some of the things, uh, uh, we have been talking of uh, Web 2.0 tools, uh, I think in the, in the, in the morning, uh, Professor Khan has also uh, told us that uh, he is also conducting a few sessions on uh, Web 2.0 tools in the classroom. Uh, so uh, I think uh, I, should, I shouldn't go into the, these slides, what is Web 2.0, but just, just, just for, uh, for the information of that, it is, it is a, it is a uh, trend in the web design and the development. This is the next generation of the web tools. The first generation was red, but now with this generation, we can, anyone can publish. You don't need to be a programmer. You don't need to have the, the, those, those technical capabilities. You can, anyone can, anyone can publish. Uh, uh, how do we use them uh, in, the, in, the, in the classrooms? So can, can, what are those tools and can we use them in the classrooms? Uh, the good thing about the Web 2.0 tools is that uh, they are free, uh, they are online, uh, they can be embedded in the websites, so they will be, uh, Professor Shari was uh, talking about the social networks, collaborative groups, yes, they all facilitate all this. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Web 2.0 tools which are available to us are in the beta form, so, so there may be some problem related to this. Uh, and Today, if you, if, you, if you search for some Web 2.0 tools and next day you, 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 you find something, else, you find, you try to search it, you will find that there are a lot of changes. So, so change is the consistent. So what, what are the user's expectations from Web 2.0? So now we are not restricted to surfing, browsing, consuming and all that, but we are talking of connecting, we are talking of collaborating, we are talking of creating, and we are talking of large uh, data and the uh, audio and video and we, we we talk of participation so if you are using web 2.0 in the uh, in the classrooms then obviously we are talking of interaction we are talking of collaborations uh, we have uh, more facilities for monitoring or providing feedback and assisting the students uh, obviously we are talking of uh, active learning. We are now not talking of passive learning, but we are talking of uh, active learning. Uh, I think I'll, I'll just skip these. Uh, I, I have been associated with uh, distance education, and when I was with the distance education, then only I thought that I came to know that, yes, you have to, as a teacher, you have to focus on the learner, on, the, on your student. And then I, 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 uh, I came through this uh, taxonomy that that obviously uh, the, how the how the knowledge is being shared how the learning takes place there are six levels uh, again the Bloom's taxonomy has been revised and, and it says now the higher level of learning that they are in the creation so we are talking of, of creation now we are we are we are now talking of we want to develop our students for this innovation economy where where the where, where the where the, the key word will be the the use of individual ideas and the knowledge and, and, and then conduct the commerce. The, the core competencies which are required in, uh, in our 21st century learner, the, they are that I think most of uh, speakers that they have said and they all will agree that now we want to think differently, we want to, uh, we want to have creativity, uh, you need to have innovation, you need to have collaborations. Now I want to talk about a bit of learning tools which, which we have been using and uh, which are available for free. Uh, all these tools, when we are talking of this technology, I again uh, emphasize that it is the 
it is the pedagogy which is important it is not the tool uh, like uh, the pedagogical consideration should be given more importance than the demand of the technology one of the tool which can be used in the classroom is is, is the learning management system uh, moodle is one of the learning management system which has been used in in more than 7 8000 universities across the world this is a uh, this is a platform which 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 provides uh, which which provides ways for or opportunities for interactions and collaborations uh then the beyond this learning management system there is learning active ma activity management system which which allows a teacher to define the different activities which you are which you want to get done from your students you can define a quiz you can have uh, you can have a quiz in which several questions are being asked and then uh, you are asking a student to reply you can have poll and then once you have taken the poll and then if you if you wish to chat with the students you can do with this this again is free we are in our campus are using brihaspati again this is this is a learning this is a combination of your learning management system and learning activity management system this is called brihaspati this is uh, has been developed by iit kanpur and again the, the uh, i would like to tell you that uh, that this technology has been developed by uh, mi uh, this ministry of it and uh, the iit and this is perfect like we have been using it for the last uh, last 6 uh, months and uh, the 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 results are very nice now we are talking of uh, web conferencing now and that to free you just need to have a webcam and and you can be seen anywhere and um, uh, if you go to these these websites dimdim and wizq you can you can host your own virtual classrooms anyone anyone from anywhere will be will will be seeing your content will be interacting with you in fact i had uh, i had, uh, I had uh, uh, initiated a uh, session in dimdim uh, i think 3 4 months back and uh, there i got uh, calls from from more than 10 countries so uh, i'm trying to show that the power which are there in the hands of the teacher if you want to broadcast you just go to this website and you can be broadcasted live we are talking of learning pyramid now uh, the the learning pyramid says that it is not only lecturing reading but now we are talking of practice by doing or by teaching others so now uh, again these tools blogs everyone knows these tools we can use these tools in in the education these are the tools which can be used for uh, which can be used by us uh, uh, these are the ways by which we can we can use blogging as 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 the education tool uh, i'll not be going into the details but i'll just just uh, rush through it uh, uh, the micro blogging the twitter uh, which is which is uh, because because a lot of politicians they use so now we are uh, uh, we 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 know know these tools uh, these also can be used for the uh, for giving uh, for for imparting education we talk of wiki wiki so wiki again uh, we can uh, again allows you to collaborate several people like you you as a teacher can 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 create the content and and then you have uh, students who can make modifications into it so you can edit this these are the tools which are available besides this there is one more tool which is called wiki educator uh, which uh, which allows the edu educators from all across the world to 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 host their content and to 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 share to to share their content so uh, why do we use wikis in education these are the uh, reasons for it uh, uh, now uh, we have been searching websites to to find out the the uh, the, the, the what is new in that website so you can use rss again uh, you you wish to author the content you want to uh, use the uh, multimedia Uh, so you can use these websites the course lab that they allow you to create your content uh, you wish to record your audio what is it is there you record your audio your text can be converted into voice in the speech this is available here you just go to this website and then uh, your text is converted into speech you have a lot of tools which can which can uh, write your text into any format 
You can create your flash games that do free. 